Hi guys, so I'm in like a reflective mood today, so I'm thinking a bit about my great grandmother, Edith Stevens. Women in my family have been nuts. <laughs> they are. Anyway, so she died back in 1997. No, she died in 2000. 2000. So I was 13. And I didn't know her that well. But she was a bit of a nut job. She was 93 when she died. And um, she was always the life of the party. A lot of Romany women these days are a lot more conservative than what our grandmothers were like and stuff like that. Times change, people change. Anyway, so she was a bit of a nutter. And this isn't really spiritual, but... If you find that things tend to go missing, whether they're spiritual items or personal items, it's usually because spirit are behind it. And I've had this an awful lot bit with her. So my family aren't close, you know. Me and my son are, but before us, you weren't really close to your chavis, you weren't really close to to your dyes and stuff like that. Like you just weren't. You weren't you weren't raised to be cuddly and you were raised for a hard life anyway. So her and my nan were never really close. If anything, my nan bloody hated her. And um, she was very cantankerous. And um, so when my nan found out I was doing the family tree and stuff like that, she gave me a death certificate. Nothing like being all gloomy. She gave me a death certificate, not the birth one, not the marriage one, but the death one. Um, so she gave me and it was ripped in half. And I was like, oh God. So my nan was in the mood clearly to rip it up. But she had this gold necklace that was that was my great grandmother's and if i remember if i remember correctly it was like a leaf it was like a gold leaf in like a circle and um, man i basically threw it at me and goes you might as well have that that was hers that's how close they were and um i carried it around for a while because i'm uh, what's the i can't think of of, of the term when you touch things you pick up on stuff, you feel stuff, you see stuff. Um, not clairaudient, not clairvoyant. It's one of them anyway. So I had it and it had like a heaviness to it. And I was like, you know, it, it don't feel right wearing it. And I was like, you know what, get over it. I'm going to put it on. Um, so I put it on for like a day and I was in the foulest mood. I just, this heaviness came over me. And um, I suppose part of it was a spiritual lesson in a way because I was picking up on how she was fitting and she did not want me to have that necklace. She, Considering I was her great-granddaughter, she didn't want me to have it. I don't know why. I don't know if she wanted to go to someone else or, or if she's just pissed off the fact that my nan gave it to me. Gave, gave it to me. And I was wearing it and just as heaviness. And, and like I took it off and I just felt all of a sudden light-hearted and just like this weight had been lifted off of me. And I was thinking, oh, that's a bit strange, ain't it? Um, but the next day I put it on again, thinking, again, it might be my imagination, let's give it another go. And the same thing happened. And we went down to Blockbuster. Again, that shows how long ago this was because Blockbuster has been shut for a long time. And um, <laughs> um, I lost it. It just, poof. It either fell off or it broke off or whatever it was. And to this day, I still don't know where I lost it. I, I imagine it was in Blockbuster. But that goes to show that sometimes if spirit wants something or they don't want you to have something, they'll make sure you don't get it. I had the same years and years ago. I bought a, a ruby, a gold ruby ring from an antique shop for my 21st birthday. And again, I felt really weird wearing it. I was like, nah. I loved it. I don't get me wrong. Fit me like a dream, cost me freaking like 250 quid. And um, I was living down in Devon at the time, in Exeter. Um, and in the end, I ended up just keeping it in my purse because it just didn't feel right wearing it. Next thing you know, it's gone missing. And it weren't my mush at the time. It weren't my ex. Um, it just went missing. So if you have stuff that goes missing, usually it's spiritless behind it because they either want it to go to someone else or they just don't want you to have it. It goes to show that like, when spirit, when people die and they go to, you know, turn to spirits, they don't 
immediately change their personality that's just that's not how it works a lot of them will be very very similar to how they were alive they're just on another plane of existence yeah so to this day i know i never knew what happened to both objects but i always i felt more light-hearted when they'd both gone missing i was sad because it was my great grandmother's necklace but at the same time i kind of respected it i was like okay well you did give me warnings because when i was wearing it i didn't feel right i was just being stubborn and thinking you know what it's gold in a romani community you pass on gold you don't you don't get rid of it you don't burn it you don't melt it you pass it on because gold to us is our lifeline or it used to be it's status it's money it's how you'd get by it's how you'd, you'd feed your families um so i said i never knew what happened to either one of them and all i can think is that they went to somewhere else and i didn't heed the warnings because they were trying to tell me don't wear it don't wear it it's not for you because i was picking up on that feeling when i was wearing it um so if, if anything it goes to show you should trust how you feel especially when you get given heirlooms and stuff like that um i mean what happens on? this ring here not, not swearing at you but this is this is my nan's ring and she's still alive but when i got married in 2012 um i got ready um in a chalet and she gave me that and my nan is not sentimental like if she gives you anything she will remind you over and over again that she's given it to you but she gave me this one well, of the very few things she's ever done out of love so if you can see it so it's 18 carat black sapphire and they're quite rare the darker they are the rarer they are it's one of the diamonds um it's 1970s because her second husband gave it to her Whereas I always felt all right wearing it. I don't know if it's because she was alive and I don't know how she would have felt if she'd died and, and given it to me or I'd had it after she died. I don't know. Um, so always listen to how you feel when you pick up on stuff, when you touch stuff, especially if they're heirlooms, because trust me, the ancestors will let you know if they don't want you to wear it. They will let you know. 